today this how-to video we're going to take a look at a parametric analysis in PSPICE. We have a simple common emitter amplifier circuit using an MPN transistor and a parametric analysis will be used to sweep the value of a resistor to find the value required for a specific bias point for the circuit. To run the parametric analysis a param part is placed from the special library and the new global parameter is added to that part as a property. We'll use the place part function. We'll add the special library from the PSPICE library. And then we'll find the param part. And we can add that down. We'll then edit properties. So select the, the parameter, edit properties, right mouse button. And we'll add a new row called rval with a value of 470. This would be the value that it was used if we weren't running a parameter analysis. We'll then make the rval property visible so we can see it on the schematic canvas. We'll then look at the, the resistor R5. This is the one we want to sweep the value for. So we'll change the value on here to be rval contained within curly brackets. The parametric analysis needs to be run in conjunction with another multi-result simulation. So we're going to run a short transient simulation with the parametric analysis. There are no signal sources, so effectively this runs a number of time simulations with a constant output. So if we edit the PSPICE profile, on the analysis tab we make sure that we've got time domain transient specified from the drop-down, and then we're going to set the runtime to 1M. The maximum step size does not need to be set for this simulation. We're then going to check the parametric sweep in the options list on the left. And then in the sweep variable, we're going to specify global parameter. We're going to set the parameter name to match the parameter that we define. So that's going to be our val. The sweep type of linear is good enough. Uh, and then we're going to set the start value to be 100. The end value is going to be 1K and we're going to have an increment of 10. We're then going to click OK. We'll add a voltage marker onto our coal net. And then we're going to run the simulation. When the simulation completes, there's a number of results that are highlighted, one for each of the runs. So we'll use OK to basically look at all of the results. We get a number of traces displayed and we can see the one see that one of the traces has recall at 5 volts, the target value in this case, but it's not as clear as it might be. It would be better if we could get a display of the recall voltage against the parameter value. This is where the performance analysis can help. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the trace performance analysis function. We're going to select the wizard button. We'll then click next. We have a static voltage, but the max measurement can be used. So we'll select max as the measurement type and click next. It's now asking uh, to search for the, for the trace that we want to use. So we can either hit the browse button and browse for the net or we can type it in. Then we're going to click next. We get an example of where the measurement is being taken from to confirm that we have the required waveform and the measurement. So we'll just uh, accept that. We'll click finish to complete the wizard. The max of V call is drawn against the R val parameter value. To get just the performance analysis result displayed in a bit more detail, what we're going to do is we're going to select the original plot and then use plot delete plot to remove it. That then maximizes the screen. Our target 5 volt output is at an R value of about 360. This is probably good enough for most purposes since resistors have a limited number of values in their preferred ranges. But let's say that we would like to get the precise value. We can get this with a cursor. So we're going to left click on the toggle cursor and then we're going to click the search icon and we're going to type the following. So it's search forward 
Oh, learn to type. And then we'll specify five. Click OK. So this runs the search for cursor one. In the cursor window, we can see that the max V call is at five and the Y1 value is at 358.681. That concludes the parametric analysis session.